Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another mail call video here at my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a little scratch in my throat. Anyway, um, for mail call, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar or this is your very first mail call video, mail call is a feature on my YouTube channel where I give you a theme for each month. Um, you make cards or maybe you already have a card made that fits the theme, but anyway, you send me a card in the mail and then I open it on camera and everyone gets to see the card that you have sent. Now, if you want the card returned to you, you can include a self-addressed stamped envelope and I will mail it back to you. Or if you want to donate it, um, I have a couple places locally that I give these cards to and they are put to good use. So that is mail call. So today we are going to be opening uh, different pieces of mail and different cards that I received for the month of February. And the theme for February was rainbow or multicolor. So we should have lots of very colorful cards today. Um, and I did see a few as I was kind of like thumbing through everything that came. There were quite a few from January that didn't make it in time for the January mail call video last month. So we are going to see some for that theme as well, but we're going to get into it. And hello, hello to everyone over there in the chat. Um, Kathleen, Betsy, Kate, Shirley, Amber, Lois, Lynn, uh, the faithful crafter. Love that name. That's awesome. So I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to sit down because I've been standing while I'm opening and organizing. We have a lot to go through today. There's lots and lots of mail. I haven't looked at any of it yet, but um, let's get going here. I'm going to sit down so I'm nice and comfy. <clears throat> okay, so this first one, I want to show you the envelope, but it has their address. So I'm just going to cover it right here. But she did like lots of rainbow up the side and then she's got a really fun uh, return sticker right there. But I don't wanna put her address on blast, so I'm covering it up. <laughs> okay, but on the back of the envelope, it does say February mail call. So I know it's for February. So, oh, this is cute. So super cute. So this is from Kathy in Ohio. Look at that cute frog card. He's adorable. I love that. So colorful. Nailed the rainbow theme. Perfect. All right. So this one is from Kathy in Ohio. All right. I'm going to file these away so they can be saved. All right. So now I've got a big, huge package from someone. Where is this from? Someone in Massachusetts. I think they sent me everything for the year. Yeah, like there's a big stack of mail. Um, lots for this one too. <laughs> so I'm going to open these up and pull them out. I'll just take a minute to get all these all filed away. So there is a card for me in the front. Um, Serenity now. We should all use that. Thank you for all you do. Love your videos. Be well. From Donna. Okay, so these are from Donna. And I'm assuming there's one for each month here. Okay, sorry. I'm going to take a moment and file these away. That's for July. This one's August. Okay, I, I have to show you this. This is the container with everything. Like, I'm going to have to move. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. You're sending in tons of mail. I think I'm going to have to split the year into two different boxes because people are sending lots of cards. Hold on. I'm going to split that into two boxes so I can actually get the cards in there. Okay. All right. So I've got the second half of the year in a different box because <laughs> I couldn't fit. Okay. So this one is September. And sorry to do this on camera. Normally, like if I would have opened these in advance, I'd already have the future months filed away. But I like to open, you know, while I'm on camera. Okay, so this must be the first half of the year. 
Okay. All right. So this one, I think she's been giving, putting them in order. So this one is for January. This is from Donna. And the theme was Valentine's or Love. Look at this cute card. Lots of dimension on that too. So much fun. Oh, and then look, she did a little ink blending on the inside of the card. Isn't that fun? I love that. That's so cute. So that's January. And then this next one is February. Oh, this is fun. You guys got to see this. Okay, so Donna Cape Cod again. And it says, look on the bright side, fun little blue rainbow. You color me happy. How cute is that? Like a little interactive and it changes. What a fun thing. That's so fun. Awesome. Okay. Paula's asking about replying quickly. Is it, are you talking about replying in the chat? I'm assuming you're talking about replying in the chat. Oh my word, this next one is very dimensional, but I think it's for March. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put that aside for March. Wherever my little divider went. Where's my divider? There it is. Ooh, April is really dimensional too. Love it. April, and then this will probably be May. Yeah, this one's May. Oh, this one's so dang cute. Okay, this one must be for June. Just I'm gonna double check to make sure. Yes, this one's for June. Okay. All right, moving on. We have a package. It looks like it's from Ohio. And it looks like they may have sent a January and February. Maybe. It doesn't have the card in it. Oh, they're all for January. Okay. Yes, these are from Lara in Ohio. And these were for January. So more Valentine's Day cards. But this one really is a rainbow theme. It could go either way. <laughs> So happy Valentine's Day. Such cute die cuts used on this card. So, so, so cute. Love that. There's some little hearts stamped on the envelope as well. Then we have a larger card. I'm going to zoom out so we can see these cards a little better. We have this one. It's got some embossing on it. And then it looks like she's done some paper strips to make that heart. How fun is that? Love that. And then this last one, it's got more of that embossing and then some little snowflakes. For those of us who are experiencing winter during Valentine's Day, that's perfect. Happy Valentine's Day. How cute are those? Love those. All right. Set those aside. Just cleaning up my space here a little bit. Okay, this next one is, looks like it's from Texas, and I wanna show you the envelope because it's really cute. She looks like she's maybe done a stamp or some stenciling and then put my name and address right in the center. Uh, this one's for January as well, and she does want her card returned, so I'm gonna set that aside. So this is from Amy in San Antonio, Texas. I love how you spell your name, Amy. One of my good friends growing up, her name was Amy, spelled just like that. Look how cute. And there's like lots of gloss on this. Like, I think maybe she used clear embossing powder and then all that glittery goodness. Love it. Sending a handmade hug. Love that. Love it. All right, so that is from Amy. I'm gonna go ahead and put her card in her return envelope, just so I don't forget. Put that back in. I'll go ahead and seal that up so I remember to mail it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> this is funny. Um, 
Ah, it's a naked envelope. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so this one is from Lisa Taylor in Aurora, Colorado. This is for January as well. Imagine if we obsess about the things we love about ourselves. That'd be perfect. Oh, hello. You're an inspiration. And now your mail call has challenged me to put myself out there. Thank you for the nudge. Perfect. What a cute card. I love that. And I love this little clip, the little heart clip. I like the, the ink blending from light to a darker pink. Love that. All right. So this is from Lisa. She has that cute envelope with it too. All right, let's do another one. This one looks like it's from Connecticut. There might be multiple cards in here. Oh, January and February. Thank you for the label. So let's look at January 1st. Oh, they're sealed. I've got to open them. For you. I love that. Oh, it's for my, it's definitely for me. It's written inside. This is from Maria in Connecticut. Notable blessings on Instagram. How fun is this card? I love this like silvery texture. I love that. This is her first mail call. So excited, but nervous. Well, it's beautiful. I love that. All right. And then for February... Oh, how cute. Sitting paper hugs your way. Thanks for sharing our cards and the kind of work. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And um, you don't have to put anything on the inside of your card. In fact, if it's blank, I can donate it and other people can use it. So um, I love this. I'm going to keep it. I think it's adorable. But if you would like to have your card passed on to let someone else use it, um, you, like you could just leave a blank inside. Perfect. I love these, that they're different widths of the little paper stripping. That's so cute. I love that. Maria, you did so good, especially for your first time with Mail Call. Love it. All right. This next one looks like it's from someone in Missouri. Oh, Michigan, not Missouri. Um, Jennifer. Let me get this open. All right, and here's, oh, talk about cute. Take time to delight in sweet, simple things. I love those macarons. I love any macaron, let's face it. It's, they're delicious. Okay, this one's gonna be pistachio. This one down here is probably gonna be rose. This one will be orange, lemon. Well, it could be lime or pistachio. The blue. Maybe like a blue raspberry. And then up here could be like a blackberry. Wouldn't those be so yummy? This looks delicious. It makes me want to eat a macaron. Jennifer, adorable card. You hit that rainbow theme on the head. All right, this next one is from Florida. Sip, sip, hooray. Love it. Oh, wow. It's like a little, oh, how cute. I love that. Okay, where's the, there's no, oh, here it is. It was stuck in the envelope. This is from Michelle in Florida. Sorry for the bubbles from the glossy accents. I have such a hard time with that. Oh yeah, there are quite a few bubbles up there. Oh, that's, you know, if you guys have any tips for bubbles and glossy accents, <clears throat> let Michelle know in the comments if you got, if you have tips. I get bubbles every once in a while, but not that many. It could be like if you shake it up, it could add bubbles. So maybe let your bottle sit for a couple days, let it let it kind of settle. That could be the issue. But what a cute card. My nails and hands are so dry. I have to take a moment to put lotion on. I'm so sorry. Like they're so dry. I think the winter weather is finally hitting. <laughs> So, and then I 
totally broke my thumbnail putting on shoes. Was it yesterday? No, it may have been Monday. No, it was yesterday because I did my live on Monday and my nail was fine. And it is so short. It like, it, it was bleeding. It was bad. It made me sad. Okay, so, all right. I feel better now. All right, so Michelle, amazing card. Love that coffee cup. Adorable. Love it. Okay, moving on. We've got another package that looks like it has multiple cards or maybe they just want me to mail them back. Okay, this is from January, her January scene from Tanya. Oh, she's giving me notes. Look inside this card. It's pretty cool too. Okay. All right, I'm intrigued. Okay. <gasps> How cute. Oh my word. <laughs> it's like the little mouse is typing it. It's so cute. I love the little clack, click, click, clack. That's so cute. That's adorable. Okay, and then inside, oh, look how cute. That is adorable. I love that. Beauty by Janelle, the themes are listed at my blog. Go to the link in the video description that says like mail call information or something. And all of the themes are there. They're also listed on the little paper that you print out to send in. So for example, March is die cutting and April is birthday. So yeah, so, or if you can just like pause and like zoom in or something and see all these. Okay, let's see this again. This is adorable. Oh my word, it's so cute. Oh my word, and the details, look at this. On the hearts, she's taken like a metallic gel pen and outlined some of the hearts. So many fun details. Okay, so she says, Thank you for continuing this wonderful tradition in the new year. My personal goal in card making is to use what I already have in my stash. For this card, I finally used the Lawn Fawn supplies that I bought three years ago. Hope you like it. It's adorable. Good job, Tanya. I love that. Okay, so Tanya wants her card back. I would too. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put it in this uh, bubble wrap mailer that she has provided. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to put it in the plastic first. Kay says, I don't have the patience for inactive cards, but I do love them. Yes, right? All right. Seal that up and then I can mail that off. All right, coming up next, we've got a nice big box from, well, it's not huge, it's one like this, but it's from Arlington, Texas. And it looks like it's 2024 mail call. So this probably has every month in it. So let's, let's get this open. By the way, you guys ever have these boxes from the post office if you get the flap taken care of you can pull this flap out and then it comes up sometimes it's really hard okay there we go now got it. so now i can open this just like that oh my word there's so many okay oh and she's labeled them good job Okay. All right, so we're gonna look at January and February today, but these other ones I'm going to file away. Okay, where does March start? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Perfect. 
All right, and then to finish off that year, we're gonna go to January. <laughs> okay. Oh, how pretty is this? An anniversary card, love that. This is from Vicki in Texas. How pretty is that? She's done the coloring on the flowers, a little glitter on the heart, so cute. Love that. That's so pretty, such a great anniversary card. And then for February, oh, this is gonna be cute. For February, here's her little sheet again. And craftiness is happiness. I love that. Look at this. She did some stenciling for the clouds and then she's got like a silver mirror cardstock for the die cut on the brush. How fun is that? I love it. So pretty, Vicki, love it, yes. All right, set those aside. And let's open this one. Mail call January and February from someone in, it looks like Canada. Last month, there were lots of Canada submissions. I'm surprised we've gotten this far without some Canada. <laughs> okay, so here's January 1st. What a cute envelope with that little heart. All right, this is from Christine in Ontario. How fun is this? I love this like kind of shimmery cardstock. You can see that, that's amazing. And it's got like this picture, the same texture on that. That's really cool. I love that. And then inside, oh, cute little dog. Love that. So that's the January card from Christine. And then for February, well, for one thing, the envelope's dang cute. Oh, wow. Oh my word. This is like an explosion of color. <laughs> I love this. How cute is that? Wow. That's so special. I love that. The rain boots. So cute. I love that so much. I love that she like split the circles and to make them rainbows. Oh, so cute. All right, so that's Christine in Canada. All right, next up we have someone in North Carolina. I'm not sure if this is, oh, this is just a regular card. So cute, I'm gonna show you. You had me at pizza. <laughs> Save the date for February 9th, such a great day. Uh, see, a perfect holiday reason for a dinner with your hubby and happy holidays. National Pizza Day was February 9th. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So this was from, let's see, what's her name? Um, Delina Aberl. Aberl. I'm not sure, but isn't that so fun? I love that. Okay. This next one looks like, oh, they do want it returned. So I'm gonna set that envelope aside. This is uh, Lara in Central Virginia. Look at these cute umbrellas. You are my rainbow on a cloudy day. I love that. It's a great sentiment too. I love all those umbrellas. So, and she even used maybe like a black embossing powder for some glossiness on the handles. So fun. I love it so much. Okay, I'm gonna put her card back in her envelope so I can mail that off to her. Love that. Oh, such a fun envelope. Ooh, from Australia. And this one is for February. Look how fun. I love those stamps with all those animals. A platypus and a Eastern cull, quoll. Quoll? I'm not sure. Does anyone know how to say the name of that animal up there? This one right here? Eastern Quoll? 
so cute. Okay, let's get their February card out. This is from Anita in Queensland. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die. This is soap, what? There's even more inside, okay. Stop it. This like, kind of like paper piecing, so cool. I mean, look at this texture. That's unreal. So cool. And then you open it, there's more. <laughs> Look at those fun dresses and the purses. I love that so much. And I love that there's no grading, that it can be for anything. I love that. That is so cool. Wow, Anita, I'm very impressed. What a fun card. Wow. Anita, if you're in the chat or uh, in the comments, let us know, did you already have this card planned or was it inspired by the rainbow theme? <laughs> Cause it's amazing. It's unreal. Wow. Okay. Moving on. We have so many to get through today. Y'all this is going to be a long, this will be a long live. Okay. So this one is for January and they do want it sent back. So I'm going to set that aside. This is from Suzanne in uh, Pennsylvania. Look how cute you have my heart. This was a January theme, so it was a love or Valentine's Day. I love that it's not the traditional Valentine's colors. Happy Valentine's Day. I love that, that's so cute. That's adorable. All right, I'm gonna put it back in her envelope. All right. Love that. And then look at the, what she did with the envelope too. She did that same green. So cute. Ooh, very rainbowy envelope coming up. Look how fun. How cute is that? And she used my favorite kitty stamp. Love it. So cute. And then the back of the envelope, she'd use some like washi tape. All right. Let me get this out here. Oh my word, such a fun card. Okay, so this is from Jane in Texas. Look at this, sending sunshine and rainbows and then you open it and it's like it builds the whole scene. You make the world more colorful. How fun is that? So cute, I just wanna keep opening and closing this. It's adorable. <laughs> I love that so much, it's so cute. Thank you so much, Jane. What a fun rainbow card. All right, this next one, looks like it was January mail call. Oh, this is another one from Jennifer in Michigan. Oh, stop it. That's too cute. I love you s'more. Stop it. That's so adorable. Seriously. And then she put like a little bit of glossy accents on different areas, a little shimmer. I love that. What a fun card for s'mores. I love that. That's so dang cute. And I love that she put the greeting on a vellum and then just wrapped the vellum around. Such a fun way to add a greeting. Love it. All righty. Okay, this is adorable. This came from Germany and you're not gonna believe these stamps. They're amazing. Look at this. Look at those stamps. I love the Disney one and the parrot. And then what are those little goats? So cute. And then the rainbow coming out of an envelope. Stop it. That is too cute. All right, let's see what's inside. Okay, this is February and March. Okay, I will file March away. And this one is February. And this is from Daniela. Oh, stop it. And it's on a little action wobbler. Unreal. Look at this. Okay, so it looks like she. this is maybe a stencil that she's ink blended all the rainbow on. And then she added 
I think more stenciling that put on these little glisteny stuff, but it's like a clear glitter gel. And she's also put some little uh, gems or uh, little dots. How fun is that? And then inside. I love this little, what is this, a bird? No, some sort of bug. What? Is that a mosquito? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but I love it. It's so dang cute. I love that so much. All right, so this is her Instagram account if you wanna go see more or ask about it. I love that. You know what, I don't save the stamps off of things, but I really should start because those are really cute. I love that. Okay, moving on. This one is from someone in Florida. I suspect this might be another January mail call. I started to wonder if maybe they like had a stack of mail that they didn't give me for January because this is kind of a lot of January stuff that didn't make it in time. It's kind of weird especially since I did mail call so late in February. Okay, so this is from Deneen in Florida. Stop it. Look at this tone on tone. I have to feel like I need to put a shadow right here. Look how cool that looks. I love it so much. It's all white. What a cool kind of ghosted effect on that. Wow, that looks so cool. That's beautiful. Deneen Marie in Florida. That is such a beautiful card. Thank you for sending that in. Oh, I know it might seem strange, crazy to make an all white Valentine's card, but I love the look of tone on tone cards. Thanks for your inspiration. It looks gorgeous. I love it. All right, we have another very colorful envelope with some colorful washi tape on it. Oh, talk about cute. This is from Brenda. She's a repeat card maker here on Mail Call. She's the Nook, craft, Nook Crafter. So here's her envelope with that same washi tape. And then look at this cute card with a little rainbow and then the pot of gold. How cute is that? There's not even a greeting on it. I love it. Love it so much. So cute. Thanks, Brenda. All right, we have, let's see, this one is, oh, I can't get it open. This one is from Jane Smith. I think we saw her card earlier from San Antonio, Texas. And okay, so this is for January. Look how cute this is. There's all these little flaps. Oh, wow. You're amazing. You make me smile. Oh wow, every single one of them has something different. Little heart, forever and always. How cute, best friends forever. Another little heart, how fun are those? And then, oh, thanks for host hosting the card shares. This is the first one I have had the Gus's on in, but I had to because it's Valentine's and you do mail art. <laughs> Don't stop, I love your mail art videos. This card uses my favorite stamp series, the Peekaboo line from Hero Arts. They are so fun to make and receive. Love your videos. Thank you, Jane and San Antonio. Sorry I didn't embellish a lot. Too hurried. Color pencil only. I love that it's like this because it's flat. It's easy to mail. I love that. How cute are each one of these? Huh. You're cute. I want to like open every single one of them. Have a sweet day. How fun is that? So cute. Thank you so much, Jane. Another fun envelope, Christina Werner. And that, that, that writing is really, really cute. You know what? It looks like maybe they did it with their Cricut. I'm just guessing, but I could totally be wrong. Uh, whoever this is, let us know. Did you do the writing with your Cricut or is your handwriting really that precise? Okay. Let's see here. Oh, how cute. <laughs> this has a really good greeting. This is from Amanda in Long Island, New York. Look at this. I love you when you're not psycho. <laughs> I love that so much. 
so funny. Talk about keeping it real with your significant other. <laughs> I love that. So fun. What a fun little greeting. I love that so much. And I love that these are like die cut, you know, with the paper behind it. Love it. Oh, Andrea, have a lovely day. All right, this one is February from someone in Texas. Let me get this open. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, hold on. This is from Donna in Texas. Look how fun this is. What a fun way to use a die cut like that. Having it go through like the, the cut circle and inside the cut circle, it's glitter but on the outside, it's regular cardstock. I love that. This is only a shower. The rainbows will be back. I love that. What a fun, encouraging card. Talk about cute. I love that. All right, this next one is from someone in Michigan. All right, and this was for January from Anne. Oh, how cute is this with that little dragon? So cute. I love him. He's adorable. Happy Valentine's Day. I love that. That is so dang cute. I love the little uh, veneer, little embellishment up there with the little arrow. So, so, so cute. I love that. All right, so moving on, we're almost to um, through the first box of mail. <laughs> I've got quite a few here. Okay, look at this fun envelope with all those little hearts, adorable. And then this is from Nancy in Tennessee. Love this. Look at this fun die cut, kind of rainbowy, kind of all the color coming out from the center. How fun is that? A rainbow is a promise of sunshine after rain, of calm after storms, of joy after sadness, of peace after pain. What a great encouragement card. I love that. I love all those colors. So this is from Nancy in Tennessee. I love that. Okay. Moving on, this one is from someone, looks like in Ontario, Canada. Okay, this is from Barbara Brown, I love this. Uh, my age, I wish, under 18. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, oh, how cute. This is for February. This little envelope. Look how cute. Hoppy birthday wishes. I love this. What did she cut this out of? It looks like maybe she stacked it and then put an embossing glitter on top. Somebody loves you. Have a great day. What a cute card. I love all these bunnies. So sparkly. I love that. Oh, sorry, forgot. That's Barbara in Canada. So cute. All right, one more in this box and then we'll move on. This one is from Fern in Alberta, Canada. Let me get this open. Okay. So she not have a paper in here? There's no paper. Well, I'm assuming it's her February because there's a rainbow. And it says from Fern in Alberta. There's no little paper in there with it. But look at this really pretty card. Love the rainbow back there. What a pretty cross design too. So pretty. I love how clean and simple this card is. Love that. Okay. We have 
a big, huge mailer. Someone in Georgia. No, not Georgia. From King George, Virginia. What is this? What? What is this? Oh, mail call. Year's worth. Okay, so there's year. And this one's a card for me. Thank you kindly. Dear Christina, thank you for providing a platform for fellow card makers to share and inspire each other. You are so talented and you inspire me to paint and color on my cards. Thank you, Barbara Taylor. Perfect. I love that. That's so cute. I love those images. All right. And that envelope is so fun too. Okay. Let's, let's open this up and I'll file away everything but January and February. Oh, good. And they're individually wrapped with the little things on the front. We love that. Okay. December. July. August. September. October. November, okay, February, we've got March, April, May, and June. Okay, so we've got February right here. Okay, so Barbara Taylor in Virginia, oh, Starting off strong with that envelope. I'll keep the envelope out right there. And then, oh, together, this is where the fun stuff happens. How cute. Stop it. I love that she like masked off and did some ink blending and then put the little critters right on top. And then the sequins or like the color of sequin matches what the color is behind it. That's so fun. What a fun idea. I love that. Thank you so much, Barbara. And it goes so well with your envelope. So dang cute. All right. So now I have this, like, I went to the UPS store to pick up the mail and they put it in like a big, huge bag. Because there were so many. Hold on, let me dig all this out. Ooh, fun envelopes. I can see them. <clears throat> All right. We can also start with this big package from Kaylin. I think she's in the chat. I think I saw her. Oh, wow. That's a really big card. Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, <laughs> this is from Caitlin. Still attempting to incorporate Taylor Swift. Love this. Incorporate Taylor Swift into my cards thanks to my daughter's challenge. Rainbows me, made me think of you need to calm down. Had fun adding a surprise here and there with creating an interactive element and had to create the envelope due to the odd size. Oh, I can't wait to see it. So many clouds. Okay. Okay, first of all, Stop it. That is so dang cute. And I love the little splatter of gold too. Sunshine on the street at the parade. Wow, this is cool. Oh, okay, I'm intrigued. Oh my word. Okay, and then pull. What? She never made anybody less gay. It's very true. Oh, I love this. It is so dang cute. Oh my word. How did you come up? I can't even fit it in the video. How did you come up with this idea? That, stop it. What? We all know now we all got crowns. Oh, I love it. Oh my word. I just want to keep doing this. <laughs> I love it. It is so cute. Okay, and then you also have to see what she sent. I love it. 
she sent some more friendship bracelets and then a a little is this a sticker yeah it's totally a sticker Taylor Swift you need to calm down it's a video of the year I love it and then the bracelet says you need to calm down <laughs> I love that so much oh my gosh this is so brilliant. <laughs> I love it so much. I need to send the other ones to my Taylor Swift friend. And then I have another Taylor Swift friend who would love this one even more. They're part of the LGBTQ community and they would love this. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So cute. Uh, yeah, Caitlin or Kate. Yeah, you've knocked it out of the park. What a fun theme. I love rental cards. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm going to have to save this. Oh my gosh. So dang cute. Okay. All right, we've got one from Eileen in Connecticut. Get this out. This is for February. Eileen in South Windsor, Connecticut. Oh, wow. What the? Oh my gosh, look at this. She made a little crayon box. Oh, stop it. That is too cute. Oh my word. What? Uh, be creative on each side. Oh my gosh, that is too cute. Stop it. Oh, Caitlin says check the back of the slider. Hold on, pause. Check the back of the slider. Oh my gosh, so many little hidden things. I love that. And that one's my die that I did for Simon. I love that. Oh my word, what a fun card. I just can't, I can't, I can't even. <laughs> it's too cute. Okay. And then back to the rainbow box. Oh my gosh, that is so dang cute. Eileen, oh, adorable. I would have never thought to do one of these little pop-up boxes or whatever as a box of crayons. How adorable is that? I love that so much. So dang cute. Are you sure you don't want this card back? I would want it back. <laughs> I love that. Okay, next we've got a card from someone in Tennessee, and this one is actually, it's labeled January Mail Call. Okay, Alberta in Tennessee. This is January. Oh, what a soft, lovely color this is. This kind of like a soft, rosy coral. I love that. And then Be My Valentine. What a cute card. I love how clean and simple this is with just that texture in the background. That is so cute. And I love these little hearts. Where are these hearts from? They're like little plastic hearts. I love that. Thank you so much, Alberta. Next up, uh, oh, it's for March. We're just gonna go ahead and file that away. I love when they're labeled on the envelope. Okay, February, lovely. This one is from Colorado. Okay. Allison in Denver, how cute. I believe in you. I love that. I love it. She had a little st stars right here. Sorry, I'm getting the hiccups. And then we've got a little heart. I'm gonna take a drink of water. Maybe it'll get rid of the hiccups. Oh, I'm so sorry YouTube keeps popping in ads. I'm so sorry. I wish I had more control over them. 
so cute, Allison. What a fun card. And she's like inlaid the die cut so it's all flat. How fun is that? Oh, I see a really fun envelope. Okay, look how cute. Making it kind of look like balloons-ish a little bit. But it's on like a paper that already had foiled stars on it. How fun is that? I love that they had to cancel it by <laughs> just using a marker. I love that. And then look at that envelope. It's just fun. I'm hoping this is for February so you can see the card inside. Oh, it does say February on it, so we're good. Oh, another one from Amy. Love it. She does want her card returned, so I'll set her envelope aside. Oh, look how cute. You make me smile with that cute butterfly. Okay, so it looks like this is stencils. Um, sprays, maybe? Sprays and then heat embossed. I'm not entirely sure exactly what that texture is, but look at that fun texture. I love that. Oh, here we go. I use translucent texture paste through a stencil and then sprinkle distress embossing glaze over in a rainbow of colors. How fun is that? What a fun technique. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna put her card in her envelope so it can go back to her. It's a little bit of a snug fit, but I'm being careful as I put it in. Okay. All right. Moving on, let's open another big box. This one is from Austria. Y'all, I ask you how to say her name every time. Is it Beate? Beata. Beata? Beate. I'm not entirely sure. But she has sent a big box. So I'm hoping it's cards for the whole year. We'll see. Okay. I feel like I'm unwrapping it again. Okay. Hold on, I can't show it quite yet. It's a, she's repurposed a box and it has her address on it, so I can't open it or I can't show it. Beate, Beate, okay. So I sort of remembered this time. <laughs> okay. Yay, cards for the year. Okay, so she does have card for me and then it looks like the rest are all packaged up okay all right yep there okay December oh my word that's so cute it's a big one it almost doesn't fit in my box um August Ooh, this one definitely won't fit. Oh, it's for January, so we're gonna look at that one here. September. July. Oh, all of these are so cute. Oh, stop it, please say this is February. It is, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you all need to see this. Okay, uh, March. November. Oh, stop it. What month is this for? It's too cute. April. You'll only have to wait a little bit of time. Uh, October. Oh my word, this one's really pretty too. June. May. 
Okay. All right, so she sent me a little card. So cute. This makes me think of, these flowers make me think of Hawaii. Oh, this year I managed to send you my cards much, much earlier. Awesome. I hope you like them as much as, as last time. I'm looking forward to hearing you try to pronounce my name correctly. She called it. She totally called it. <laughs> I love your YouTube channel. Thank you for inspiration and your engagement. As you said last year, if you ever come to Austria, sleep, stop by for a coffee and a little crafting session. I will take you up on that. That's awesome. I love it. She called me on her name. <laughs> it's too funny. Okay, so let's look at January 1st. Let me get these open. Okay, so Beate, Beate, hopefully I'm saying that right. And ooh, look how pretty. All that shimmer. Oh wow, that's kind of a magical scene. I love that. Whoa, my camera doesn't like the, the card opened up that way because it's all just one big color, but look how pretty. Wow, that's amazing. Love the little blending out to make it look like a little scene. Wow, that's amazing. All right, so then for February, for February, okay, first of all, the envelope is adorable. Actually, I think it's like this. And then the card, What a cute unicorn. And then she's colored all these circles to look like bubbles. Stop it. Congrats, you made a tiny human. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. Wow. So pretty. And there's like some shimmer on the bubbles. Such a fun card. Thank you so much. Both of these were just amazing. Wow. Okay. We've got a few more to get through. And then all the ones that I've already had filed away for February. All right. This one is from someone in Hawaii. Oh, but it says September. And it was mailed in February. So I'm going to just put it in September. I'm not going to try to open it. Okay. Oh, another one from Hawaii, but uh, April. April. File that away. This one's from someone in Florida, and this is for January. What was it? Oh, my word. And it's even postmarked the 6th of January. I think there were some that just my UPS store they probably set aside and didn't realize they were for my mailbox i'm pretty sure i apologize okay so this one is from michelle in florida i think we saw one from okay stop it okay just enough to say roses are red violets are blue i'm lucky to have a friend like you. That is so cute. I love it. And there's a little heart inside. Okay, I'm going to put it back to where it was so that it's all queued up. Perfect. How cute is that? Love it. So dang cute. You guys are like knocking these out of the park, every single one of you. Okay, so this is from, oh, oh my word. Tris, Christina, stop. Okay, rewind that. No one saw that, right? Turn off your eyes. Um, I'm gonna have to go back through and edit that out. Um, I was trying to show the front of the envelope and I was like not even thinking. Okay, so cute envelope on the front, right? Okay, so this is probably for January. It's 
from Patty in Massachusetts. Oh, what a cute card. Look how cute. I love that the little cupcake. So dang cute and paired lots of patterns and colors. Exactly. Anne. exactly. <laughs> Adorable. So, so, so cute. Thank you, Patty. Okay. I am double checking myself. I'm not showing an address. Okay. Look at these fun postage stamps. I have some of these. I love them. Oh, Anne has a good point. Weren't there some major blizzards that affected transportation in January? Could be. Could be. Look how fun this is. I love that so much. Okay, so now I'm going to open it. This is from Bunny in Florida. Oh, stop it. How cute. This little bear. Oh, there's lots of notes inside. Hold on. So Bunny in Florida. She sent me postage stamps. What? Okay, hold on. Um, read now. These stamps are a gift for the next person you send a card to. Oh, great. I hope they have fun using them and making mail art. I hope they like blue and will enjoy making a blue envelope. Some of them will need a glue stick. How fun are these? I love that. Let's open them. Let's see what envelopes there are or what stamps. Come out. Okay, there we go. There's that one. Oh, there's quite a few here. I love it. Yes, when she says blue envelope, she wasn't kidding. Lots of blue. We'll get to her card in a moment. I'm just wanting to see what these postage stamps are. Such a good selection of blue stamps. Amazing. And I love this little tiny itty bitty little bag that she put them in too. Get these all rounded up. John and Madeline Olson, yes, I donate them to places like that. Okay. Thank you. I will pass those on to the person. Okay, and then read later. Okay, all right. I will read that later. <laughs> Back to her card. How cute. And I love that she's used the tufted embossing folder, one of my favorites from Spellbinders. But what a cute little rainbow bear adorable oh my word and there's a little post-it note inside with the so cute I love that so 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 cute okay hold on I'm wondering if I can read this to you all okay hold on I'm taking this wow this is this is quite the long note that she sent me so I'll save that for later <laughs> it says read later so I will do that later that's awesome what a fun envelope. Thank you, Bunny. And I love that your name is Bunny because my aunt's name is Bunny. Aunt Bunny. It's not her actual real name. I'm not even sure what her actual name is. It might be Beatrice. I'm not sure. Okay, this one is from someone in Pennsylvania. Okay, open this up. Ooh, look, there's inside to the envelope. Stop it, this is so cute. Oh my word, her handwriting is beautiful. This is a personal card, not mail art. But I'm gonna show you the card because it's really, really cute. And then she's got like a note inside that I'll read later. How cute is that? I love that so much. Okay, I'll read her personal note to me a little bit later. Okay, this one is from Nancy in Tennessee. Oh, and it says March, but I'm going to go ahead and open it so I can file it away. Okay. What? 
What is what? I I'm confused. What? I think she sent me some Christmas ornaments. Hold on. This is for March, but I just I'm verifying that this is the card for March. Oh, what a cute card. Yeah, it's for March. Y'all are gonna have to wait. Sorry. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, so that is for March. But it says for you. So I think, oh, they're magnets. How cute. Hold on, let me get them open. Oh, stop it. She's made little magnets. How cute are these? They're so dang cute. Okay, so these are from Nancy in Tennessee. And she's sent cards in the past. In fact, I think we've seen some today from her. Okay, hold on, let me open this other one. It is so dang cute. She has packaged it up very well so that they arrive intact. What? Okay, so this one is an ornament. Oh my word, okay, so she's, they're like really thick. So it looks like maybe they're cut out of veneer maybe? I'm not sure exactly how she did this, but they're really, really cute. Wow. How cute are those? They're adorable. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Nancy. Those are so cute. Yeah, she totally made these. They're die cut. I can tell they're die cut, but I'm not sure like who makes dies like this. And then how do you get the really heavy like veneer stuff? Wow. So cute. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Smile, it's Happy Meal. <laughs> so this one is from California. Looks like it's from Carol. All right, Carol, oh, she says she wants hers back. So I'm gonna set her envelope aside to mail that back. Carol in Bakersfield, California. Oh, stop it. Looks like it, at one point, pieces moved around, but they're a little stuck at the moment. How cute. I love this die cut. Where is that from? The celebrate you from. It's your day. I love it with the little clouds. Wow. So cute. And I love that glitter. Wow. Good job, Carol. All right. I'm going to put this in the envelope that she sent so I can mail it back. Okay. All right, this one is from, oh, this is another one from Christine in Canada and it says March. So I'm just gonna open it and I can file it away. Okay, March. Oh, another cute mail call card or envelope. And this one says it's for January. Look at those postage stamps. Some of these I've never seen before. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know that those are actual postage stamps. Like these three, I've never seen them. Maybe presumably they are. I don't know, I've never seen them in my life. How cute. These two definitely are like forever stamps though. And this is from, oh, is this from Molly? We love Molly. I just did a mailer envelope for her on my Supporter Plus videos here. The only the Supporter Plus people can see. Okay, so this is from Molly in Alabama. 
Oh my word. Wow, this is a labor of love. <gasps> oh, I love that. So it lifts up. Happy Valentine's Day. So dang cute. Okay, these Tim Holtz dies that make this like box of chocolates, such little itty bitty intricate pieces that are it cuts. So like for real, this is a labor of love. <laughs> so that's amazing. And the fact that you send it to me and you don't want it sent back, I might send it back to you anyway, because I have your address. So just because. Okay, so this was kind of a Tim Holtish card. So the True Love Candy Box, Lawn Fawn Falling Heart Stencil, Spellbinders, and Sunny Studio Stamps. Love that. Thank you so much, Molly. What a fun card. That's adorable. All right. This one is a February mail call from Karen in California, it looks like. Okay. Oh, how cute. Okay, hold on. Let me get the, the slip of paper out. Oh, it's so tiny. Okay. Uh, Karen in Orange County, she cut it out super tiny. <laughs> okay. And then look at this card. How cute. Well, gold at the end of the rainbow. That is so dang cute. After every storm, there is rainbow. And then let's see, Christina, thank you so much for all the inspiration that you provide. I look forward to your videos. You are so calm and relaxed. A joy to watch Karen. Oh, well, thank you. That's so sweet. What a cool card. I love that the rainbow isn't like super, super bright, slap you in the face rainbow. It's a little different. It's a little lighter. I think that's really fun. I love that. So cute. Thank you, Karen. All right. This one looks like it's also from Karen, but it's for March. So I'm just going to open it and file it away. Okay. Oh, it's another really cute one. Y'all are going to die. Okay. For March. Okay, this one is from Lara in Ohio. Try and get this out here. Okay. So, Lara in Ohio. Oh, she's got two cards. I love it. Okay. All right, so there's this first one. Rainbow, you're in my thoughts. I love that. So she did the paper, strips of paper and then die cut it after. And then she used the outside of that for this card. How fun is that? Such a fun mix of the same greeting. I love this card sock. She's cut that out. It's all sparkly. And dies in advance. <laughs> Love it. Laura, these are so cute. There's like a little shimmer on that green. Do you see that? There's a little shimmer on there. Love it. Adorable. Okay, this next one is from someone in Kissimmee, Florida. So they've got to be near the parks. Lisa. That's the February card. Oh, so cute. All right. From Lisa in Florida. Look how cute. It's got like that glossy greeting. I love that. So cute. I love this mini slimline size. It's such a fun size. How cute is that? I love it. So once again, this is from Lisa in Florida. I love the inlay on that too. It's so cute. Okay, so this one is from Cindy in Montana, it looks like. It's a cute envelope. I'll show it to you. Hold on. All right, look at that cute envelope. Oh, it's for March, actually. I just noticed it says March. All right. 
and she wants it sent back too, so I'll just put that all together. Okay. This one is from Deb in North Carolina. Okay. All right, well, for one thing, there's the envelope that's super fun. And then it, this one says, Okay, it's from Deb in Charlotte, North Carolina. Then look at this card, Kindness Matters. I love that with that like hawk coming up. We rise by lifting others. I love that. So cute. I love this rainbow background in the background too. Love it. So cute. What a great card with a great message. All right, ooh, I hear a shaker card. And look at this fun envelope. Okay, so it's like a regular like manila envelope. And then look over here, how fun is that? I can hear the shaker inside. Hold on, I'm getting it open. Okay. This person wants their stuff sent back. Oh, no wonder, it's so cute. Okay, hold on, let me find the... Okay, so this first one is from Anne in New York and look at these sparkly hearts. Oh my word. Talk about like slappy in the face with some sparkly. I love it. It is so cute. I love these die cuts too. What a fun card. And then the shaker card, also from Anne, look at this. Rainbow wishes, I love it. I just wanna keep moving it around. <laughs> that is so fun. What a fun shaker card. I love those. Okay, so I'm gonna put these safely into the envelope to mail back. Okay. All right, so we've gone through everything that's not opened yet. So now I've just got a big, huge stack of ones that came in in previous months, like that came earlier. So let me grab all of these out. Okay. Oh, wow, this is so funny after just seeing that other hawk one. This is from Ritva in Finland. Look how cute that is. So beautiful. I love that multicolor stamping and then life is beautiful. What a gorgeous card. So there's her Instagram if you'd like to check it out as well. How beautiful. Okay, this next one. See if I can get it open. Oh, cute. Okay. This is from Katie in Munich, Germany. Look how cute. Look at this little hippo. Stop it. He's too cute. Follow your rainbow. What a fun. Is this got is this a stencil back here? Is that paper or washi tape? What is this? It's a stencil. It's a stencil. What a fun stencil. I love that. And there's some glossiness on that balloon. What a fun image. I love that. So once again, Katie, thank you so much. What a cute card. All right, this next one is from Isabel in Switzerland. Let me see if I can get it open. Okay, so Isabel in Switzerland, and she's saying these are the things that she used on the back. Here's the envelope, and then look how fun this is. I love the holographic elements on it. 
on that stamping. What a fun card. I love those colors. It's rainbow, but not like hit you in the face rainbow. You know, it's got multicolor. I love that. How beautiful. I love that so much. So that's Isabel in Switzerland. All right, this next one is from Angel. Oh, and she's 14, or he, I'm not sure which. Look at that fun. And then have this little happy birthday card. I love that. I love that so much. All that rainbowy. And it doesn't have purple, and it doesn't have like a red, red, red. It's more just like a, an orangey red. So it's kind of fun that it's not the full spectrum. I love that. Gorgeous. So thank you so much, Angel. All right, up next, we have Rachel in Tennessee with a bright pink envelope. Look at this card. How so cute is that? Love those flowers. Love it. And I love this holographic greeting. Love it. So, so cute. This is definitely rainbow. Well done. <laughs> love that. Okay, next up, hold on, I think I'm mixing some up here. Okay, next up we have this one from Cabrina in Tennessee, who is also 14. So cute. I love the ink blended rainbow background. Love that, and then the die cut green that's popped up for a little dimension. What a cute rainbow card. Yes, Anne says so bright and happy. Yes, so bright and happy. I love that. All right, this one, let's see. Very rainbowy. This is from Rachel in Tennessee. Look how cute. It almost looks a neon on camera, all of the, these rainbow colors. But this is actually individual strips of cardstock that she's glued together. That's amazing. And then the holographic greeting. So fun. Thank you, Rachel. This is adorable. I love the rainbow on that. Okay, this next one. Ooh, lots of fun texture on this one. And it is from Carol in Maryland, or maybe that's North Dakota. I'm not sure. It might be North Dakota. But look, how cute. Look at this texture. What a fun texture in the background. And then she's just taken these squares and cut them in half to create a little rainbow. How fun is that? So creative. Thank you, Carol. I love that. Oh, this one has a really fun envelope. Oh, what a cute card. Okay, hold on. Let me let me prep it, make it look all cute and stuff. Okay, so this is from Kay in California. And look at her envelope, like holographic unicorns. So stinking cute. And then here is the card. I love that. So cute. Okay. All right, just a few more. Actually, there's more than a few more. There's probably at least another 10. All right. So hold on one minute. I have like five million text messages and my husband's not home, so I need to like check in. I'm gonna go on mute for just a minute. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. A lot of the text messages, text messages were actually some crafty friends on a group chat troubleshooting an issue with some dies, <laughs> which I thought was funny. Okay, so this next one is from Molly in Kansas. Oh my word, how cute is this? Look how cute. It's one of those little, I think it's a box. Yeah, there we go. How cute is that? With all those little hearts. Stop it. I just want to go like this. I love it. <laughs> I love that so much. Wow, that's amazing. And it's like one of those ones that can stand up on its own too. Wow, good job, Molly. And she has it in this fun envelope. So dang cute. I love that. All right, next up. Wow, this one has a fun envelope. It's like a little holographic envelope. And they've even done embossing on the flap, which is so cool. This one is from Karen in Washington State. Look how cute that is with that holographic little hearts in the background. I love that. It says thank you. Wow, that's like glowing. That's a really cool envelope. I love that. So cute. Thank you, Karen. All right, next we have Beth. Looks like, hold on, let me get this open. I can't figure out how to open it. Oh, the flap is tucked in. Okay, hold on. And she does want it returned, so I'll make sure I get that. Okay, so, ooh, look how cute. I love with those stripes. This is from Beth in Maryland. And uh, she says, this is a great technique that looks difficult but isn't. Just ink blend a large panel cut into strips and then reassemble by staggering the pieces, ready for a cool background. I stamped the flowers and painted with bleach to lighten the color. How fun. What a fun technique. That is such a cool look. I love that. So cute. All right, I'm gonna put this in the envelope to send back. All right, so once again, that's Beth in Maryland. Okay. Ooh, this next envelope is really cute. Okay, from Tessa Reed. Oh, she had some great envelopes last month too. Um, Tessa in Arizona. Look how cute. Love it. Okay, so she took my advice. The address looks like it's it's on the um, holographic envelope, but it's in a cello bag. She put the stamps on the outside of the cello bag, and then she put the actual physical address just written on white cardstock that's been glued to the cello bag. So as long as your address is on the outside and it's like really legible, and there's poster stamps, that should be great. Okay, I need well, I need those. I love those. I need to find out where, what are those stamps and like find them. I love that I'm seeing all these stamps that I've never seen before. Okay, so I'm gonna get the card out. Okay, so there's my envelope that has my address on it. Okay, oh, how cool. All right, so Tessa in Arizona, and then we'll read more info about her card, but look how cute. It's got a little gloss and shine on there too. Looks amazing. Okay, so she says, this card was inspired by the color wheel. Oh, I can totally see it. It uses a principle by my friend Anne Corbury, or yeah, Cor Corbury? Scott Designs, along with her custom-designed washi, peep the wordy biv and rainbow color words. Since I used a toner printer, I was able to foil with black deco foil from Thermoweb. I also used metallic silver watercolor for some sparkle. How fun. That's awesome. I thought she'd done some black embossing for the gloss, but it's not. It's the black deco foil. 
Oh, what a cool card. And she does want it returned. So I'm gonna, well, first of all, look how fun, I can keep that. And then she has her return address envelope that I can put this in. Perfect. Thank you, Tessa. So cute. All right, so, oh, sorry, I was almost showing their address again. Got to open up this envelope. Oh no, what did I just do? I like, oh, it's the little paper. Okay, so Patty in Massachusetts. If I get it out, hold on. It's like catching on the envelope. There we go. Ooh, what a cool card. All right, so it says, good luck. The little smiley face down here, love it. What a fun card. And then the, the repeat of the rainbow right inside. How fun is that? Love that. So thank you again, Patty. What a cute card. Hold on, I'm gonna sit down again. I stood up because I had to go grab more of these. Okay. All right, this next one is from Isla in Finland. And look how fun this is. Sending smiles across the miles. I don't know, are, are this like alcohol ink photographs? What is this? I'm not sure what it is in the background. Isla, if you know, like if you're in the comments, let us know what these segments are from. It looks like it might be from photographs but it could also be like alcohol ink or something. I'm not sure, markers, I, marbling. Well, yeah, marbling of some sort, but I'm wondering how she did it. That would be awesome. That's so cool. Okay. This next one is from, okay, it looks like it's Caro or Caro in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Look at this fun envelope that, she, that this person made. And then the fun card. I love that. I love that there's no greeting. It could just be whatever it needs to be. Yeah, Misty, it does resemble acrylic pores. Yeah, you're right. Could be pattern paper, I'm not sure. What a cute card. And I love that you can see this kind of stacked die cut, it's got a little bit of a deeper yellow color, probably that color underneath, and then the like pale buttery yellow on top. So fun. What a fun card. All right, next up we've got Jenny in Ecuador. Look how fun with these moths. That's amazing. I love all the different colors. And then she's, wow, has she hand cut those out? I think she did. I think she hand cut each one of those. That's amazing. So pretty. And I love this kind of like shimmery teal cardstock that was used as well. Yes, very soft and pretty. I love that. I love the little texture in the background too. So cool. Thank you, Jenny. All right. Just a few more. All right, this next one is from Charlotte in Dallas, Texas. Look at this fun card. It has like this kind of collage look to it. That's really, really neat. I love that. The bird, those little pops of like a metallic paper just in different spots. So cool. I love that. And I love there's a little kitty just hiding. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, Charlotte. What a, what a different style. I love that. That's so pretty. I love it. All right. This is from Judy in Hawaii.
Okay. Oh, and she wants it returned, it looks like. Oh, no, just the envelope. Okay. In Hawaii, Judy in Hawaii. Look at this. Hello, sunshine. I love that. What a fun greeting for a very bright rainbowy card. That looks so cute. I love all the stenciling. Adorable. Thank you so much, Judy. All right. This one is from Linda. Oh, this is one that I said you guys were going to die because it was so dang cute. <laughs> okay. So Linda in Michigan, and I've got her envelope here to return her card. Look how cute. And then it can turn this. And we have a rainbow. How stinking cute. Hello, friend. Then you turn that. And then it says, push the car. Oh my gosh, it lights up. How fun is that? I love it. I love these interactive cards. They're so dang cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, Linda, adorable. I love that so much. All right, I'm gonna put this in her envelope to send back to her. I'll put it back into the plastic first. Just so it'll stay safe while it's going through the mail. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be really cute. There's dogs on it. Okay, hold on. Let me open it up. Oh my word, stop it. Oh gosh, okay, so this is from Christine in Canada. Okay, first of all, let's appreciate the envelope with all the embossing on it with the dog and the paw prints. And then over on this side, you've got more paw prints. So dang cute. And then look at this, stop it. And this basket weave, wow. It looks like actual basket. How, how, like what? Is that like a specialty paper you've cut? Wow, that's amazing. What a fun card with those tulips and the flowers. Oh, and then a little kitty and a dog inside. I love that. So once again, this is Christine in Canada. So amazing. Oh, and it's for March, dang it. <laughs> it's a preview. It's Christine's card for March, which was die cutting. <laughs> we're getting a little, we'll get, we're getting a head start. I will put this one in the file, filing for March as well. And then we'll, we'll, we'll see it in March. How about that? We'll see it in March as well. So just a little sneak peek. Okay. Are these other ones for March too? Hold on. No, this one's February. Okay. This is the last one. the last one for February and it is from Corina 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 I'm not sure I always say Corina but I don't know Corina because I would I would do the R-I-N-A is just Rina so maybe it's Corina okay so envelope how cute okay people must have these rainbow macarons on the brain because look at this, have a sweet birthday. They've got a little shimmer to them. I love that. I love that there's a little candle coming out. <laughs> I love that. How cute is that? So dang cute. I love the little shadow around each one of the macarons as well. How cute is that card? I feel like I need to like zoom out so you can see the whole card all at once. How fun is that? So amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like 5 million amazing rainbow cards. So many good colorful cards. Here, let's do this. We can just look at all that rainbow goodness. 
for real. <laughs> oh my gosh. And thank you all for sending me little knickknacks and uh, stamps to send on to people and all that. So fun. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you would like to participate in future months of mail call, uh, check out the mail call info that's at the link listed down below in the video description. Uh, you can click over there and you can print out the little sheets that people sent in with their cards and, you know, see what all the themes are for the upcoming year. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you all on Friday with another color month card. So I hope you'll come back and check that out. Thank you all for joining me today and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.